Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Ryan. Here with Mike. Dude, he's got hey. the enthusiasm rocking. This is number 17 of the Stalker Effect. Big R- 1-7. What? 1-1-7? One, one, big 1-7. One, no one says just Big 1-7. That seems like... I don't know. Exactly. Just what? The... <laughs> it's just like I don't. Yeah. I don't even. I don't even know what where to. Yep. I don't even know where to go with that. <laughs> I don't even know. I. I just like you. Just. I just completely. I don't even. I don't even know. Just stop. Everyone, time out. Deep breaths. Calm down. But okay, Mike. So how was your day? I don't know. It's Shut boring. Up. You that dude. You know what's terrible. When okay, so all right, here we'll roll with this right away. What do you think happened with everything that I said? How how do you think it was resolved? What do you think was a possible outcome? I don't know. Do you have to say something? Uh. Uh. What do you think is the situation now? Uh, they don't care. You you you're pretty you're pretty you, that was like, right on the t. The only hey. thing that legitly was the deal breaker here is that it was in their house and it was like I didn't need any more answers or explanation than what they said and I didn't want to fester with it because I was like this needs to be done with because I don't really care. It was just like it was like they were just like it was disrespectful. Disrespecting, dude. I guess so. I don't. I, I don't like. I didn't look into that philosophy idea yet. I feel like it's literally a. Um, it was a fizz, a, bleh, a fizz, how do you say that word? You know, fizz. Fizz. No, fizz. Oh, f- philosophy? No, not philosophy, physiological idea or something like that. Um, Physiological? Yeah, no, there you go. Psychological. No, I don't know. Well, it's some, it's, it's gotta be psychological. Physiological is, uh, like body. Okay. Well, then we'll roll with that, and it's like, it's probably, it's gotta be some kind of, like, belief or something, you know? That if you're not like the man or woman of the house, you can't be doing that in the house. Something like that. I feel like there's something I mean, somewhere I in that makes sense. Like a religious belief or something. Um, I think that's just like you know there. Yeah, or their or their things. You know what I mean? I don't but know, like like it's just kind of like you know it's common sense. Maybe. So you don't own the house. Don't be. Yeah, but I mean nasties like, all over it, huh, Ryan? Ever thought yeah. of that? <laughs> That's exactly what was thought of, Mike. Exactly. I don't even know. So, yeah. Um, so that's... What are you going to say? That's resolved. Yeah, dude, like... So the weirdest thing about the whole situation was... I wasn't worried about anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I knew... The second that they started, that he yelled at me that one night, that nothing was going to happen with this. Nothing was going to change because it was just – and then, like, it's when we talked about it, too, which was, like – did I tell you about the whole – how I went about doing the apology thing? Yeah, you did the the, the, the USB and the – Okay, yeah, okay. Something else. Yeah, you remember, but you don't remember. That's okay. But with the way I did that and everything, it just – everything, like – you know, everything was, like, explained, same page in a way, and it was, like, I forget, they were, like, um, it came back down to, the, like, the, the simple fact that, like, I was kind of saying, is, like, I'm the oldest, you know, when you're the oldest, you kind of take it the hardest in a way when it comes to certain things, because you're the first to leave, the first to do this, the first to do that, you know, we're stricter with this, with this, because you're the first with this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you know for a fact that when it gets down to Maya, they're gonna care, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh no, she. Well, yeah. well, she is a female, but besides that point, you know what I mean. Yeah. Let's say she wasn't a female. You know okay. what I mean. Yeah. But it's just it kind of came back to that, and it wasn't a surprise to me. I wasn't worried about anything, and they just wanted an apology, and the apology for messing around in the house. That was it. Did that? Said that? Closed Dirty. the whole thing off. Dirty. Maybe if you weren't so dirty, they wouldn't care. Yeah, that's exactly it. Dude, it's so crazy how different my parents' beliefs are when it comes to that stuff. And how, like, when you talk to one about it and then, like, the other, how, like, my dad will say, don't tell your mom I said that. 
because she'll kill me. What did your dad say? Oh, dude, my oh. dad was... No, I'll tell you, dude, my dad was just like, you know I don't care that you do that. It was just it was in the house, I and mean, you could have did it by, in a tree... Here, 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 here. You know what literally, I mean? Did he literally say in a tree? Yeah, he said, he said you could have did it in the pine trees behind the house. I wouldn't have cared. It's just that you did it inside my house. That's all I cared about. He literally said that. He's like, he's like, and then he was like, I did that stuff when I was your age too, but I knew better than to do it in my dad's house because he would have killed me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I guess my mom didn't mess around in that kind of way when she was... A teenager, but she, that she'll own but up to. yeah, or she would own up to, but she, but she admits to like she drank a lot and did all that kind of stuff, like party and whatnot. I don't know if she did all that stuff because she wouldn't admit to it, right? Like he said, but she does admit to like drinking and smoking and doing all that crazy shit and going hard at it. Going hard. Yeah. I can see your mom going hard. Dude, she goes hard now back, still when uh, she gets a back chance to. Seventies <laughs> or sixties, whatever. How old is she? Uh, was it probably 47, I think now? 40, yeah, 40, 47, 48 coming up. Back in the 70s, Miss Mel going hard. Dude, you know, my mom's crazy. She's still crazy. But, uh, alright, well, you need to carry this for one second, because my little sister is very cool and adept, so I'll be right back. What is she trying to do? I'll ask you when you get back. That'll be a story for another time. So, YouTube, what's going on? Haven't talked in a while. The internet, it's been a while, a couple days. I feel like we had this conversation last time we had the show. Just me and the internet, one on one, here. But we're early on in the show, so thank you for staying this close. But we were thinking about doing some audio tweaks, getting maybe the ability to have more people on the show, um, whether it be in like the same room or just audio syncing. Good quality will boost the show. I know that these things will happen. I do a lot of philosophy stuff now because I'm comfortable with that and I've realized that that is like my purpose in this, in the game of life, in the game of this and that. Philosophy is where I make my home now. It's what I understand. It's what I'm passionate about. It's what I can talk freely and openly about and know that at the end of the day, I'm going to feel good about it and nothing, nothing's going to change when it comes to uh, hardcore beliefs are just what is simply the truth about everything. Um, like I said, we've said before, you can give everyone the answers or show them the door, but they have to walk through it. They have to know that the answers are the truth and go with it. You know what I mean? So I know what you mean. Hey, you're back already, bud. I yeah. feel like you were didn't even leave and you were just mocking me there now. No, no, no. no. I, I muted my mic and left. So. Okay, that's cool. Well, she was trying to, you know electronic screwdrivers mm -hmm. they have like the bits you can take out and put them in uh-huh so she thought you needed a full-size bit oh for it to be stable so she was looking for like a regular phillips bit that was like as long as a finger but all you needed was one that was like you know a fingernail length so yeah all right well i mean she's top of the line when it comes to intelligence we, we know that of course well, I'll give her credit. She's actually doing something. So. Well, that's good. Hey, you know what I just thought of? When I was talking, I was just talking about the audio stuff, and I was like, I could get, honestly, with all these, if we do the audio sync thing, and I could get a group of people over to my house, we could have four different people in my house, which means we could have a total of five people on the show with good audio. Four? Five. No, four. Four at your house? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Oh. Because that you know on the program I told you I got, you can record yeah. multiple USB ports. Yeah. I have four microphones total. I have the two studio mics and then two headset mics. Oh yeah. So that's. Mhm. Mm that's four people, dude. And I know that I could get Corey. I definitely could get Corey over here once a week. I, I know I can do it. I know he'd be down for it. Dude, that's I bet you can get your it. girlfriend. I know we could get that. That's a possibility. That's easy. And uh, me and JJ have been going at it lately with stuff and. Because, you know, him and me have always been friends, honestly, but just how we're friends, you know what I mean? Yeah, so he's replacing Corey no. in a way? Kind of. I don't know. He's more serious. Corey's like, he's weird this year, dude. He's back into his sports thing, doing everything for, with everybody else and not really kind of keeping it focused on life and what you got to do, you know? Well, you know, maybe he likes to do sports and he's enjoying his life. Well, yeah, that is. Yeah, that's fine, too. You know what I mean? I didn't say that's bad. I'm just saying that he's doing that more for the 
You know, I don't know how to describe it. It's like for the people, not for himself. Yeah, and you can tell that. Well, you know, maybe it's for social stuff. Yeah, I don't know. He, I feel like he hasn't had as big of a social life as he's had lately. You know, until he started doing sports. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've always had a decent social life when it comes to things. I've always found people outside of the norm that I have a. You know what I mean? That I end up talking to a lot more about actual, like, life and stuff. I don't enjoy the, the pity talk about, like, these little things that everyone else talks about, you know? I like talking about actual stuff because it's just, it makes more sense to me. It's more of what's out there. I, uh-huh. I, don't, I don't know. The thing that just bothers me the most about it is he wants to go on these trips with us this summer. He wants to get a computer. He wants to do this with us, right? Yeah. But yet, he's not doing anything to make it happen. Because he's trying, he's doing everything with everybody. You know what I'm saying? And you know yeah. that come sports time for him, this is what he does. Yeah. And now he's doing swimming too, so. Yeah. You know what? And that's just the thing that, that, that gets me and just kind of bothers me in a way about it. It really rustles your jimmies. Yeah, it rustles my. <laughs> so, but I'm going to talk to him about the, the, what I was, the, this thing that we were just talking about there about the, the setup and whatnot. And I'm, I can get him to come over once a week probably for that. You know what I mean? I have Monday through Wednesday off usually. Maybe I'll work a day. A, not late. Not the past like month I haven't worked a Tuesday, so that's been nice. So Monday through Wednesday plus the past two weeks, I haven't been scheduled to close on a Friday night, so I get home about 9, and then I don't work Saturday and Sunday night. You know what I mean? So really, I'm only out nights for Thursdays and Friday night, and you're usually doing stuff Friday night anyway. Yeah. Like that's your, You know what I mean? But like with someone that comes to guests and stuff, we can do Monday nights or Tuesday nights or Wednesday nights and have, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's right uh-huh. after school or maybe later in the night, but it can happen. Yeah. And for him, he has no excuse because even if he does swimming, he doesn't work at all during the week because of sports. He doesn't work at all Saturday because of sports. He works Sunday night, and he has after 6 o'clock, we'll give him at the latest... Monday through Friday to come here and do a show with us. You know what I mean? There's yeah, no yeah, reason yeah. why he can't or shouldn't do it. That's another thing that's going to bother him when he tries to make up an excuse for it. Especially yeah. when it's one day. One day. One day for like an hour. And like we said, like you and me said, our, we've been doing, we've only done like three shows since we got bat- gotten back into this. We're well, not even like two or three now. And you can already tell how much better they're getting. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh-huh. They're, and it's only been three of them. And you know that if we can get more people on board the idea and more people in the rooms doing it, they're going to get really good really fast, and they will will take off. That is how yeah. it works. Uh-huh. You don't like, seem too convinced about it working like that, Mike, but... No, I am. I am. Just I was just reading something. you got to focus on the topic at hand, Mike. All right. I'm sorry. I'll close everything. I'll turn off my monitor. <laughs> Don't do that, because then Both you will... Them. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, my square one and my nice one. Yeah, your nice one. Um, 144 hertz. Pretty good. I don't even know what mine is. Mine's, I really don't even Yours, know. Yours probably 60. 144 know. is a selling point. They would have plastered it all over the box. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, did I tell you that Um, it's a definite now? My, where well, they're going down with the TV, and we, I think we're getting another computer too, for um, Christmas and stuff. Like I don't know where we're getting this money to do this stuff from. I know the TV, but it's gonna be like a gaming computer or whatever for Jason and whatnot. And then my dad's gonna clean up the uh, my mom's old computer, that XP one. You you know that one? You've seen that one before? To make it so they can just go on the internet with that, you know, on YouTube or whatever. It's all Linux, you know, good stuff. Yeah, sure, Linux. Um. So that stuff's going to happen this summer, or this winter. That'll be interesting. I, I, I'm honestly looking forward to the TV thing, because that's something that I push for. I just want to be able to sit in my own basement every once in a once a week, sit back, watch television, or watch a movie on the couch. On a decent-sized yeah, yeah. TV in decent quality. With a remote. Did you? Did I tell you that the remote broke? Did you see that? I don't know if you've remote been over broke. since... Yeah, there were, they, someone, either it was my or Jason, like, they tore... You know, in like the old remotes, and even now still, but the one we had in the basement, that one, the remote, like the battery thing, like the, yeah. 
the thing that like you know it just hits the battery. It was like yeah. connected by like, just like this slim little wire thing, and someone pulled it out or something. Ooh. And you can't fix that at all. Yeah. So we've been out, we've been down a remote for like six months for that thing, and they've already and they've already like completely destroyed a couple of the buttons on front of the television. Like they're destructive when it comes to TVs and remotes. You know that all the remotes that they have touched are, are duct taped right now. Like the one upstairs, duct taped to hold it together. We, did. we just got a new remote because we got a new cable. Yeah. And it's like it's really nice because it like if you press the power button. It turns off the cable box, the TV, and the speaker box all at once. Okay. So, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. That's nice. It's annoying when your mom... Because my mom doesn't do the remote for some reason. She just presses all the buttons by herself. Yeah. And she'll forget to turn off the, the speaker box thing. So when you press the power button on the remote, it'll turn on the cable box and the TV, but then turn off. Uh, the speaker box, and then you have to do it all yourself, and uh huh, yeah. You feel me? Oh yeah, man. First world problems, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. I was gonna um, I was, and then like, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to get um, get the that old surround sound thing just for a stereo setup for audio for in the. In the basement or whatnot. Yeah. Hello? So, hey, what's up? You just kind of cut out there. Yeah, my bad. Um, but that's what we're rocking with that and whatnot, which is cool. So that'll happen. That'll be nice. Just a little relaxation thing. Um, we're kind of, I don't know. Other yeah. than that, I mean, I'm not going to really, I really don't, I got, I got this little, what did I get? I got the, the little pad thing. I'm going to start learning how to animate if I can get some time. It's where I've kind of, the past couple weeks, I've kind of had a couple days or one day, honestly, to myself. So I haven't been doing, like, doing that really because I've been doing other things, believe it or not, or finding something else to do, which is Whoa. weird. Crazy. Um, You know, a little bit of time for yourself, right? Whoever thought about that one? Who would have thunk? Shut up, Mike. I hate you. Love you, too. <laughs> God damn, I was going to say something. Um, yes, yeah, so, you know, honestly, the whole situation, it was resolved so peacefully, and yeah, it, it just kind of blew my mind, some of the stuff that was said or whatnot, even though I knew this was going to happen, it was still just like, you were right, you know what I mean? I was right? We were both right, you know what I mean? I was right, though. You were right, though. That's what you're saying. Yeah, we were both yeah. right, you know? And, like, it's such a crazy concept. I've, I'm going to do a video on that eventually. It's something that I, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'll get to respect. I'll, I'll go deep with it about me kind of and like this this knowledge of knowing things and how when you if you know something you will always be right when it comes to it in one way or another. You're always gonna yeah. win like the coin or the battle with it, but you have to know it. Coin or the battle or whatnot. I don't know, Mike. I don't know if you're into the philosophy stuff. You're probably not, but it's all truth. Well, you know, if I run across some philosophy, I'm not gonna, you know. Not read it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's yeah. awesome. I don't know. It's all you've seen the videos lately and stuff. You see what's going on, which is good. I feel you. Do they even long ass videos? Like thirty minutes for everything? Twenty, thirty minutes? That's some solid yeah. work. And it's actually good stuff though. Wouldn't you admit that it's these it's better than like a lot of Yeah. Past yeah, things, plenty. honestly. On the upper end of quality. Yeah. Because it actually has, like, something. Hey, I got the thumbnails. Nice you see too. that? No, I, I didn't don't even, see that. I don't remember if I even told you about that. I don't even know how that happened or whatnot, but I guess I have custom thumbnails now or whatever. So, nice. it... that happened. Oh, I got to get, get you that information for the other YouTube account. We got to get, get rolling on those ideas when it comes to Minecraft and stuff, too. That's all syncing up crap. That's going to be so stupid. But it'll be worth yeah. it. Yeah. Well... We'll get rolling with that. Um, Hello. We yeah. should play Minecraft, dude, after we're done with this. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can wait to play Battlefield. I really don't care. But you'll get that, what, next week probably? Yeah, like probably Monday or Tuesday. I just need to get my paycheck. All right, that's cool. Okay, I can't wait to get Assassin's Creed and do that. That'll look going to be fun. But uh, I'm looking forward, honestly. Dude, we got that, that, that idea for the audio setup and stuff. That, that's something that I'm going to try to push with some people. 
Because I know we could get corn. I know we could get corny. I know I could probably even get JJ over here to do something with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. We could uh, get people. Maybe, probably. Hopefully, yeah. It'd be fun. Mm-hmm. And, like, dude, if it actually, like, when it takes off or whatnot, we could, like, do, like, a cool little studio thing. That'd be cool. That'd be fun. Turn huh? the, the supposed movie room into a studio room. Yeah, dude. Why not? It's not going to be a movie room anytime soon. You know that more than I do. <laughs> you know how those things work with my family. <laughs> it's kind of, it's like sad, but funny. Um, I'm, I'm saving something for a little bit, but hey, so, I mean, hey, what's going on with you, man? I mean, it's been a couple days. A lot going hey, on in the McCafferty household. Uh, no, not really, actually. Nothing, nothing big. You know, just sitting here, minding my own business. Oh, you know what I did recently? Yeah, what'd you do, bud? I watched the Batman movies. Like the, the the Dark Knight trilogy or the old ones? Dark Knight trilogy. All like in a row right away? Yeah. Batman Begins is actually like a really, really good movie. I, I did, after I saw the third Bat, the Dark Knight Rises, I truly appreciated the first one and how good of a movie it was. Yeah, like I re-went and watched it and oh my god, dude. That movie is like... It's a, so yes, so philosophy and mm-hmm. thinking. You didn't. I never thought about that at all until I gotta watch that one again, probably too, and to get more of it because I've heard some stuff from it in other places. But yeah, that's what it's like. It's all that kind of stuff. It's about rebuilding yourself. Like I mean, it. I had, I watched the first one like literally when it came out in two thousand five. Yeah, like, I remember twice. that. Yeah. I never actually saw the whole movie. From beginning to end, I saw mm-hmm. all of it in different parts. Okay. And I finally went and watched the whole thing. And just, like, everything made so much more sense going forward. Like, now that you watched it and whatnot? Yeah, like, I The know. Dark Knight Rises. Like, Oh, yeah, dude, like, until I saw The Dark Knight Rises, I didn't even see the point of that one being even in the trilogy, in a way, you know? Yeah. Like, that's... The best part about The Dark Knight Rises is because it completely tied all the movies together. They did it perfectly, and it was great. Except for... I, I kind of... I wonder if uh, if Heath Ledger hadn't died, if they would have brought back... The Joker in the third Joker one? Joker in the third. I bet they would have. They would have. The, I mean, the, the people wanted it. So. It would have made sense, too. Yeah, there wouldn't have been anything like he gets out of prison or something, or when Bane comes, he gets out. It would have, you know, out. Yeah, so it's definitely something that could have and would have happened. Uh, did you see the new X-Men trailer that came out today yet? No, I didn't see that. What are your thoughts on the X-Men series? I haven't seen the X-Men series that much. Really? No. <laughs> you gotta watch those. There's like seven of them now. All in culminating between the Wolverine, the, like the two Wolverine movies, and then all the X-Men movies or whatever. Yeah. It's like seven movies. And this, uh, the next one looks pretty. It looks pretty good. Sure. I feel like it's going to be a top blockbuster, honestly, because what it, what it's doing is that you, 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 you're familiar with how they, the last X Men one they did was like the the past one, you know how it originated or whatnot. Yeah. The first class one or whatever, and yeah, then how yeah, like yeah. in the last stand one or whatever, the stuff that happened at the end of that one. Yeah. They took it and it was like, all like. Doing things so other things wouldn't happen, or kind of. It felt like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they took, what you mean. like in the new, in the one that's coming out, you've got the future and then the past, and you're kind of jumping back between it, making sense of things, or trying to prevent things from happening in the future in the past, you know? Like yeah. legitimately that kind of stuff. And it looked like a good movie, because they brought back the entire cast from both series, the first, like the past one, and then the original one, the whole cast they're bringing back whole cast yeah everybody that was everybody that wasn't killed off or that was in it the same actors are playing the roles wow that's how you like that's what i admire in, in movies and whatnot like how in the new hobbit movie they brought back orlando bloom to play legolas again oh yeah the little things like that are what keeps the franchise in the movies credible you know what i mean you can't uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah recast characters or try to f- stray away from the main storyline that was originally put there uh-huh. Like you like the you like the parts of the Caribbean movies, right? Yeah. The first three were great. And then they strayed away from it with the fourth one. They oh, they, yeah. they didn't have to. 
but they chose to, and it wasn't the best venture. Mm-hmm. People weren't too happy with that one. And now it kind of killed the series. Yeah. So, that's like, I think that's one of the best examples of, I think that's the best example I have of like, something kind of killing the series in a way that wasn't quite intended. Or whatnot. Yeah. Like, they got rid of like everybody. The only yeah. person that came back was... Uh, Johnny Depp. Zero. Yeah, him. And then the guy who played the, the Babosa guy. And then, I think, was Gibbs in there? I don't know. Was he? I think he was in there. I'm pretty sure he was. I think that's, like, the only three people. They didn't bring back anybody else. And that was, like, very disappointing in a way. Shoot. Um, so I like how you... I, you know one thing that I do, like, that, that we should do? Is we should, every, like, podcast or something, we should review a movie or something. Yeah, maybe. Because you and me like movies, right? You like movies. Yeah, I like movies. I love movies, dude. I, it's hard to find people nowadays that appreciate movies for what they are. Um, yeah. a movie that I got, what, I haven't watched yet, but I got the, uh, the, what's the fucking, the, the Departed, I've never seen The Departed, and apparently that's a really good movie or whatnot. Yeah. You ever heard of that one? No. It's got, it's got a, it's got a good string of actors, and it's got, uh, uh, who is it? Mark Wahlberg, Matt Damon, Leonardo DiCaprio, and the, the one guy, uh, fuck, what's his name? The, J- Jack Nicholson? Is that his name? That, that name ring a bell? Uh, Jack, yeah, yeah. Him? Yeah, and then he's got him in it. Like, it's a good cast, and apparently it's a really good movie. I've never seen, have you seen any of the Godfather movies? No. No, I haven't seen those either. I feel bad for not seeing those. You haven't seen The Matrix yet, have you? Uh, some of it. No, you gotta watch that one. That's a good one. I didn't, I, I can't really yell at you or make fun of you for because I didn't see that one until like a year ago either. And watch <laughs> that whole one neither. My dad destroyed me for that one. <laughs> oh my god, yesterday, my mom destroyed Corny for not knowing who Clint Eastwood, who Clint Eastwood was. Clint Eastwood? Yeah, dude. My mom destroyed what? her for it. She was like, what the fuck? Who are you <laughs> dating? So I know, right? She doesn't know anybody, like any American icons. Like any? No one. It's, uh, you should probably get on that, Ryan. I, I'm trying to my mom said. <laughs> like, you know, hey, you know who John Wayne is, right? People, yeah, John like, Wayne. John Wayne, American icon. Yeah, he's what? John Wayne. Yeah, don't know who that is. Um, I don't my know mom any. defended that one, though. She's like, yeah, that's a little bit before the times. I'm like, no, mom. No. That's an American icon right there. That is the American icon. John Wayne. <laughs> right? That is like, that is the American icon. But it was just so funny, cause like my mom, like, my mom was like, what? <laughs> cause even she knows, like, and appreciates the movies that he's in. <laughs> and all the stuff he's done. It's so, it was just so funny. Yeah, that's that. Those are both those are both good. Those are both guys when it comes to the film industry. That's crazy. Yeah, I love that stuff. That stuff's weird. I mean, it's hard to find people honestly that still enjoy like and can understand movies for what they are. That new Thor movie looks kind of good. Yeah. Did you see the new uh the Captain America trailer? Uh, Captain America. Tra- the new no. Captain America. Yeah, you gotta watch those. That that's coming out in, I want to say April. But that one looks really good too. They got a string good movies coming out. The new Hobbit movie comes out. I gotta watch the first one still. Don't yell at me for that one. You didn't see the it. first Hobbit. I haven't watched it yet. It's sitting. Do you, do you it's still sitting, have it? Yeah, it's sitting on my. It's sitting where it was sitting probably the last time you were over. Oh sitting my on my dresser beneath a pile of DVDs. It's just sitting there waiting for me to watch it. Maybe I'll watch it tonight. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. Maybe I'll watch it tonight. Either, will that make you happy, Mike? If I watch it tonight? Yes. Okay, I probably should. I should probably watch that. I don't know. Just like something about it. I feel like I appreciate the Lord of the Rings series too much to like really appreciate that movie or stray or, or stray away from it. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was because like I appreciated like the way that movie was and everything, and I just didn't take to the whole changing of like the cast or this or like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Because they are different. You know what I mean. Like the yeah. idea, the journey, and everything. It was a, it's a different I- concept and a completely different idea. But I will yeah. watch it because I do appreciate The Hobbit. I haven't seen it, but I do appreciate it. And they, I know they did a good job with it. So 
I'm not going to bash at it at all. But she hasn't seen Lord of the Rings either, Mike. Now, that's a that's a sin in itself. Corey still hasn't seen that one either, and that's just a sin in itself. Because that is the best trilogy ever created, right? By far. That you can't... Like, I was, I watched that, I watched that whole, um, trilogy, like, last weekend, I wanna say, cause that was the weekend I was whooped, right? So I came home, I just laid in bed after work, and I, I watched, um, I watched the last two, cause I watched the first one, like, a week before that or whatever, and th- it's still such a good movie. Like, the visuals and everything, it's still, it's still fine. It's not... Yeah, there's, there's a few parts that yeah, I Yeah, like, you know what, I, yeah, but, given the times, that's like, that was the early 2000s when those were made. Like, the last one was, like, 2003, I think. So you can't hate on the visuals for what it was worth. Could you imagine if they made that movie now? Was it in 2003? Yes, I think that was how it looked right now. That was, I think that was the last Lord of the Rings. Lord. I remember seeing that with you in the theaters. I, yeah, I remember that. I remember, those are, like, the movie I distinctly remember going in the theaters because of, like, how long they were. <laughs> Crazy. Um, I, should probably, I should probably type in Return of the King because that was the last one. 2003, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. That's when it came out. So that's almost 10 years. That's 10 years, Mike. That's 10 years since the last Lord of the Rings movie came out. 10 years. Oh, my goodness. Should you imagine what they could do with that now? No. When it comes to visuals and everything. It's just... Now, that is just remarkable when you think of it. Because that movie, for its time, was just outstandingly stunning when it came to everything. Yeah. You, was... you, oh, if, the, if they could recreate something like that with the same story in that, you know, you're not going to be able to find, like, that, it's just the cast and everything was just terrific. Yeah, that was a, definitely a 10 out of 10. Let's see, hold on, let me look, I'm going to see, let me go on the one website, the I, the IMDB e. website. And MDB. See. And see the top uh, top 250 movies. I know what movie I've never seen the whole movie of, and I feel bad for this one too. Shawshank Redemption. Smite me. Right. You seen that one? No. Like I feel like some of the great greatest movies that everyone that people talk about, I've never seen like Shawshank Redemption. Haven't seen either of the Godfathers. Haven't seen Pulp Fiction. Me either. I feel I've never seen Fight Club either. You seen Fight Club? I never seen Fight Club. Uh, oh, I've never seen Fight Club either. I haven't seen Goodfellas. So apparently that was a good one. They rank Inception. I think Inception was one of the newest movies that's came out that that has that has hit the the charts with like best movies over oh, ever. Inception. Really? Yeah, Inception is is honestly spoken of as a very very good movie. Inception and The Dark Knight are the two yeah, newest yeah. movies I think. Dark Knight was really good. In the 2000s that have been speak spoken of very, very highly. We haven't had many good other good movies in the 2000s. I mean, Lord of the Rings was a good, good one that everyone speaks highly of. I You think of, um, which were the ones I just said. Uh, Inception was the newest one, The Dark Knight. Oh, holy crap, dude. Gravity, number 42, 44 on the list right now. That movie I heard... From um, DJ Keem, uh, Keemstar and Blade were talking about that on one of the shows, and they spoke very highly of that movie. Keem was like, "That was one of the only movies that, after watching it again, I wanted to go and watch it again." Really? And I heard Gravity was a very, very good movie. I honestly expected that movie to be pretty bad. I, I that's what I thought. I saw the trailer for it. And I thought this movie's gonna blow. I don't want to go see this, but I heard it was a very, very good movie. Well, I had the feeling that it was going to be like one of those either really good or just, uh, terrible. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Cause there's, yeah, I got what you're saying there. It was going to be a hit or miss. Like yeah. a hardcore hit or miss. Yeah, and they, they dodged a bullet in the way that people accepted it very, very well. Yeah. Oh. The Departed is up here 51, 2006. That's fairly new. Uh, oh, that, um, the, I haven't seen this movie. What is it? The, I can't even say it's something Unchained, uh, Django. Django. Yeah, Django, Django Unchained. Yeah, that one. That one was very well received too. I haven't seen that one yet. With uh, who's it? Who's in that one? Jamie Fox, um, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, I think, was in that one, and some other guy. But that was one that was very well received too that I didn't see. Uh huh. That Disney movie Wall-E. That was one that uh, people were talking about that I just thought was the dumbest movie ever. Wall-E. Yeah. 
Did you see that one? Uh, Wally. Oh, I like that movie. Did you like that movie? I, I, I don't think I've never seen it because that's one of those movies like um, uh, shit, what's that one movie that I just I I refuse to watch because I just can't Avatar. I refuse to watch that movie. I will never watch Avatar. Never. You're never gonna watch it. No, I think that is the dumbest movie ever. Blue people I, running around. It's just it's I could no nope, I protested that movie. And I was like, no, this is not what we're coming to in the film industry. Hey, I got it. I said that though. What'd you get? I I finally figured out how to get two different screens to have two different backgrounds. How do you do that? Tell me. You have to right click personalize and then uh double click on unsaved theme no, no right click it no, no no never mind and then you gotta go to desktop backgrounds and then it'll be right there where's desktop back oh here it is the bottom and then okay. when you hover over one of them there's a checkbox in the top left corner uh-huh click on that checkbox okay. for the two that you want and oh for me. awesome bro thank you i love you too. That's awesome. Let me try. So you click this one. Wait, I should probably click the one I want first. Because I want to keep the one I have up. So let's... Okay, that one's checked. And then check this one. Change picture. Oh, wait, no, we don't want shuffle. Turn that off. Uh, Fill. Save changes. It's, it's not on both screens, though. It shows them, but it's not on both both screens there's like a change picture option what if I change it to like 10 seconds do I have to do like tile no I didn't do it uh center I don't know anyways did it work for you is it on both screens yeah really shit yeah. but anyways I'm not looking square, at square monitor not being nice though. Okay, I gotta figure that out. That it makes sense, but I don't know. I'll I'll look at that. I'll look at that. I'll look at that when I'm not talking. I can't. I cannot focus on talking and being serious in a conversation while doing something like that because I'd be talking about that and getting aggravated over that, and you know I do. Yeah. I get so mad. <laughs> I get furious about it. Yeah. Well. Well, I can't get to not shuffle. Oh, it's shuffling? Yeah. I got to figure that out. Okay. Well, you wait, let me no. know. Wait, wait. Was... And I'll do it after you. Well, I can't get to change to not change pictures, so. Okay. Well, anyways, back to the podcast, right? Yeah. Back to the show, everybody. Um, I think, honestly, I'm really looking forward to doing that new that new idea that you pitched. I'm actually, yeah. like, I'm actually jumping up and down right now. I'm thinking about it, just like how the potential's there. Potential that, so, it, that, uh, it, that it has. Yeah, I, I know. Well, we just got. So okay, so you're not you know you know how I don't really talk about like, um, like we I don't talk about like my relationship right or that kind of thing right. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff right. Yeah. You know, no one really asks about it either, right? Yeah. And. But dude, last night, man, my you know, okay, so you know how I said my parents wanted an apology, right? Yeah. It wasn't a one way apology. That's that was the catch. Wait, it was a one way. No, apology? it wasn't. A, it wasn't a one way apology. So they apologized to you too? No. You didn't catch it. I had to. We both like her and me both had to apologize, right? Oh, she had to apologize too. Yeah. Oh, that's so awkward. Yes, right. I understand. You know what I mean. But here's the catch to that. When I like, cause I talked, I talked to her about this stuff. Like I talked to you about it, right? And I was yeah. like, cause we we got we got into the whole disrespectful thing. When we talked about it, and we were like, we could see that, right? Yeah. And she was like, yeah, I could see that too. So it's like, okay, so we're all on the same page about the disrespectful thing. That's what it is. That's why you apologize. It's not really. It's awkward still, right? But yeah. If it was what it was, and everything is what it is. Then it's not that big of a deal, right? Yeah. For me, it's not at least you know like 
a lot of people it is. These kind of things with things and when like all the like feelings and emotions and everything that comes with things is so much for other people, right? Uh huh. But then for me and you in a sense, right? I can say you, right? It's not okay. this big thing. We have more of an understanding of it. And we think of it as why are you, why is everyone getting so worked up over this right now? Wait, wait. What do we have an understanding of? Like how people kind of explode emotions or feelings or yeah, like okay. that kind of stuff, you know, or like kind of something lose that's happened. Lose cool in the moment. Yeah, or like when something happens that you know could change something or question something in a way. Um, you see how true to themselves they are, or how true to like the idea that they are, because. If you're serious about the act of what happened and you understand like the disrespectful thing, like what I said, right? Yeah. It's not really it's awkward still. We you said that, I said that. But it's easier to do in a sense and you're more comfortable with it and you're okay with it. Yeah, like, I get it. You kinda know by me by now, and I've said this, I don't say or apologize anymore for anything that I'm not sorry for. And I said to my parents that if they were gonna, if they, if the idea of them being mad was about the act, that they were not gonna even get close to an apology, of any sort. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's nothing that warrants anything like that. Nothing. Nothing. Nah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but that's just how I like. Uh, it's just kind of how I like went about or uh, whatnot yeah. in a sense. But and then it was like last night. It's like I don't know if it was like you know my parents have a way with words. That honestly, overall, my parents are the nicest and the easiest people to please you'll ever meet, right? Yeah. As like long as you say thank you and goodbye. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. It's just like I don't get what's so like you. You still think my dad's intimidating? I know you do. Well, that's that's kind of what everyone else's dads <laughs> are for. <laughs> I don't think people's dads are intimidating. I never, I don't like. I don't know if it's because everyone always says my dad's intimidating, and they say it straight to my face all the time, and I'm like, they're not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, do you, like, do you think all your friends' dads are intimidating, or other people per Most se? Most of them, yeah. Really, you think so? There, there's a well, people that I'm friends with, their dads are like, they're really even dads, so not really, but like people like your dad, like normal dads, yes. They're intimidating. No, okay, I, I see what you're saying by normal dads. Like, I, I, I get you. My dad, your dad. Yeah. I, I get what you're saying like that. Like, honestly, I would take your dad as more of an intimidation than most of the other dads I meet. Yeah. But overall, I still know that it, they're not really intimidating. It's just that you think they are because they're actually doing what they're supposed to do, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, today's generation isn't used to seeing parents that do what they're supposed to do. And people look at that as, like scariness or like when you think that all you have to do to be on their good side is say hello thank hello. you bye say hello first or be the one to be use your your manners because heaven forbid we use manners in today's generation right manners. yeah you know it's those it's just I don't, like that's nothing that really irritates me about a lot of the people nowadays and kids and everything is that no one honestly uses manners anymore at all yeah. You just don't see it in public or anywhere. You know what I mean? People just aren't really polite anymore or do like the the those common generous things. And it's like the simplest things you can do to please people. You know? Uh -huh. yeah. You know you know that all you have to do to be on my parents' side, honestly, if they don't know you at all, the first thing that you do for them to appreciate to be on their good side is you say hello when you walk into their home, you say thank you when they cook food for you, and you say goodbye when you leave. That's it. That's all you have to do. And they won't Got say it. anything to you. Yeah. And well, it's something that you've learned over the times. Yeah. And whatnot. And it's crazy because people still don't do it even though you tell them it all the time because it's like the intimidation thing or they're scared to or that a big thing about today's generation, a lot of people have never done it before because they were never taught to do it or they were never told by anyone of like their friends per se that it's what you have to do, right? Mm -hmm. And it's that's just like the truth of it, and that's why a lot of people have so much trouble saying hi first or saying thank you, or waiting till someone's done talking just to say it. 
or just interjecting and saying it, you know? It's not a thing that always comes – I see coming up when people are like, well, uh, everyone's always talking or it's – you know, maybe they're not in the same room or something. Well, you go find them then. You make a point. That's yeah. what I have to do. I feel I have to – it's stuff that I, like, have to do. I, like, it's just weird not to. And me, I always feel bad when I don't because I have a conscience. You have a conscience? I know you don't think I do, Mike, but I do have a conscience. I do care a little bit. About that. I do care. I mean, just just a little bit, right? I'm I'm not. Not that much. But... I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not completely crazy, but I do put the foot down from time to time. So, and like honestly though, like last night, I don't know if it was something that was said because I the, the way it was is just like I was like I'm not gonna be there with with because I know my parents right they want they're not gonna say anything embarrassing really or. They're just going to say the truth, right? You know my parents, they do that. You know what I mean? They're not going to hurt yeah. anybody. They don't want that at all. And I learned that a lot from this is like they know they overreacted or whatnot, but they're not going to do anything to jeopardize anything or make things worse or like awkward in a way, you know what I mean? It's just like this is what it is. Come to the understanding about it. Do this. No big deal, you know? Mm-hmm. No That's biggie, it. bro. That's exactly what happened. And I don't know if it was something that was said or like just the act of it, of the apology or whatnot, but something hit her last night, and it was like it, – it kind of blew up into this other thing because I told you – I'm pretty sure we talked about how it's like her herself. She like doesn't always – like you know you know how you, when, you get, when you get to know somebody, right, or you know them well enough, they can say that nothing's there, but yet you know there, are, there is, right? Yeah. With someone, whether or not they're just like – whether it's because of how they're talking or something, you know, but you know that there's something there that they're not telling you or whatnot. Yeah. Or that there's something bothering oh, them. Sorry. Or um, emotions or something, and that is exactly what happened. And like, I, it was just really. I talked to JJ about the whole idea and stuff, and how you know how everybody nowadays, between senior through college year, right, even junior year, start to have the whole revelation of life, right. And they're like, a year from now, no more high school, no more walking through, no no more having things handed to me. I'm on my own. I have to look out for my, you know, everything is me now. There's no more safety net. And people don't know where they're going to go. They don't really know what they want. They haven't thought about any of these things until now. And with the way society is and always has been, is you're pressured to think about all these things. You're focused, you're you're put on on a, a plate and said you have to plan your whole life in under a year. And it doesn't work like that. You don't know who you are, what you want, or who you want to be with, or any of that stuff. You know what I mean? Uh huh. And a lot of people, when it hits them, it's crazy because of the things it makes you think, or the things that you realize you are, what you want, or how happy you are, and how you don't want things to change, or how much something means. And it's so evident, and you can see it so clearly in certain people. Because of yeah. how surreal it is. And how much certain things matter. And that's another thing that's like, I knew I've made an impact with certain things with this. Honestly, I've, I, I haven't talked to you about the whole, like, some crazy stuff and whatnot, right? But it's a, it's a decent, it's a big thing in a way. I might mean, not think of it as, but honestly, it's, it's what it is. Uh huh. And yeah. there's been a huge impact with a lot of, like, feelings and changing of, people right yeah and it's you know it's there you can see it every once in a while it's they tell you it too when something when something happened or whatnot but it just sometimes it's just it still amazes me that everything that's happened to me everything that i've done for certain people has happened and has been possible and that things are the way they are with things you know what i mean yeah even yeah, though I have a crazy understanding and knowing that anything that, by all means, it's going to happen and it's it's the right thing and it's how it works, it still troubles, it still hits me sometimes and like that that's actually happening. It's actually what's going on, you know? You're, you're doing yeah. this or whatnot. And it's still, it's just like, it's just crazy. And then Monsters, Inc., 211. <laughs> Um, Star Trek yeah. 228 but um, 
And then it was like she it was like crying or like you know like the emotional thing was coming out and she's just like you know what are your what are your um we'll call it like thoughts or overwhelming opinions on like dreams or like I don't know if I haven't really talked about your opinions when it comes to like philosophy and stuff because I know some of what you agree with what I say is true but like when you think of like dreams or knowing that like things can happen or that some things are just like they're different right with some mm-hmm. like what you ask, what what are my opinions on dreams okay we'll start that what do you think do you think dreams mean something uh yeah obviously okay now what what do you think they mean and do you think the meaning of a dream varies from person to person Um, well, I haven't thought about this ever, so I can't, I, I can't, uh, I can't comment on this, you know, you gotta think about this stuff, though. It's not something you can just, like, throw out there, you know what I'm saying? Yes and no, because, like I said before, everyone, I think everyone looks at it differently, right? And me, yeah. I have already an understanding of all that, I know how it affects certain people, and how you can tell it affects certain people, and everything. And I, most of it has been acquired over time, but what other people have said and knowledge that I've obtained. So you write that down. Yeah. Hopefully you're writing that down. And yeah. I'll, I'll ask you again. Cause I, I want to see what you got to say about that. Okay. Cause that, that whole idea kind of plays into, um, like, like last night and stuff. It's like, she's been having like, I guess, um, kind of like, I, you're, you're like, kind of like your nightmare things, right? Yeah. Not like not. Bears. You still having those? Oh yeah, dude. Well, you gotta get that checked out. I told her about that, and she's like, "And he hasn't gotten that checked out yet, or anything?" I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, "You should probably get on that." I'm like, "Yeah." I Wait, told him. You told who? I told Courtney about that last night. Oh yeah. Nah, dude. It'll go away. Mike, it's been like three months, bro. Uh. No, it's only been two. Mike, that's that's sixty days. So. Mike, get it checked out. I can live. Jesus Christ, Mike. Go away, dude. It's fine. <laughs> oh, wow, Mike. But, um, you know how I'm, like, very set on my future, right? Yeah. Where I want to go, what I want to do, what's my plan, how it's going to happen this way and this way only, right? And how I know. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I guess, like, she's been having, like, dreams of me... Of not, like, knowing how it happens, but just, I'm in the future, of course, not, like, the present, but just, like, finding out that I've, that I died somehow, you know what I mean? Certain wait, people are certain circumstances, right? Wait, who's having these dreams? Courtney. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, for certain people, we've said dreams affect people differently, and... See, for me, dreams are more kind of a future thing, a past thing, not so much with the present. Yeah. Okay? And you know that if you want something bad enough, it will last forever, right? Whether it's with something. So it's like you know that something's going to last a good amount of time. Yeah. And you're going to you're gonna probably see something like this, but I know that no matter where I go in my life, I'm not, I'm not dying anytime soon. Not until of old age. Okay. The the power, the higher power, Mike. I don't know if I've talked to you about the higher power. Power. But power, sh- that, that's not, I'm not dying anytime soon. How do you know you're not going to die anytime soon? I talked about it in videos, Mike. Where have you been? Did you? Oh. I honestly think I have. Because it's my, loving, it's my like, over, um, lying point when I talk about how you, I hit the bottom with things before. Hit the bottom. You heard, you know, I told, I told that story before. Sure, yeah. And... Yeah. That's when, like, you started to question things, realize things, ask for things that you shouldn't think of or want, but you're doing it because of feelings, situations, right? Yeah. And you learn that, and you just see that you know that that will never happen. You just know Uh it. Because of thinking, feelings, things you see when you sleep, or dreams, visions, whatever you want to call it, it's there. Okay. And it's just it's just kind of like uh how it is or whatever. But and that's what it is. And like for for her 
I never thought I could meet someone who thinks more than I do about about things, right? And worries yeah. or the way I do when it comes to certain things. And dang, I was I, I'm topped, man. Believe it or not, I was I've been topped by her. Oh yeah, because I've learned to turn I've learned to turn it off. She thinks more than you. Mm-hmm. Huh? Way more. But See, I think more than you. Who do you do? Yeah, I just don't think about important stuff. <laughs> That's true. I think about important stuff more than I think about random stuff. But like the thing about the weird thing about me is I've learned over the months to years lately how to turn it off. Yeah. And then when other people are thinking or whatnot, or they're telling you they've been it, this has been there for a while, because I found out that like what she's been thinking about and the stuff that it's been there for like a while, you know, not just as of recently, you know what I mean? Right? Yeah. And I'm like, well, why didn't she say anything? She's like, don't want to talk about it. And she's like, you got to talk about that stuff. It's how you make your peace with it and get over it in a way. Or yeah. Have like, or develop some sort of understanding, you could say, about it. Yep. Understanding. Yeah, yeah. sure. And, you know, so that kind of like, that's what, and then that, like the dreams or whatnot, right? That was something. And then it was like, um, she was just like, she's like, I'm like, well, what are you so worried about here? And she's just like, I don't want to lose you. I'm just like, and she's like, it's like an emotional thing though, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know? And it's really weird because I've seen how much she's, like, you've, ch- she's changed when it comes to like views on things and like feelings and stuff, you know what I mean? It's like uh-huh. this maturity thing, and we've talked about that. Yeah, dude. And how in any sort of relationship at any age, Things and rates of things that like you do things or the time or stuff, it all depends on the maturity of the people, you know, how they go about things, how their feelings are, how they change, how they see things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's one thing you learn from the past when it comes to your own relationships, other people's relationships, people you, you've seen and you know things, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how you handled it, how you know what you did and why you did it. Uh huh. You know what I mean? And you can yeah. tell clearly how it's different, how this is this, and how it actually is something. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. And it's like a crazy concept to think about, especially when you throw the age thing in there. Because you think of you have a 17 relationship now, and it is something that you would, like the, the stuff is there that would be there t- uh, 5, 10 years down the road, right? Yeah. And you don't think it's possible because of that. Or that it's too good to be true, or that me being this happy with this so simple, it's just like I've never been this happy before with something, and it's just not, it's not like things in my life for it to be the way it is now. And some people like me, when they're not like me and you don't have this understanding, it blows your mind, and you think something's out of place, or you're questioning something, right? Oops. Yeah. Because you don't have the uh, understanding of it to where... It's not surprising anymore because you know that if it's what you want and what makes you happy, you're going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. Yeah. To keep it, keep it going because it's what makes you happy, you know? Yeah. Overall in life, that's what you want to be. But to be that, you have to figure things out. So, um. That was a nice long train. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff rattling around, Mike. We got there's a lot of stuff that I could talk about when it comes to philosophy and stuff. You gotta read up on your philosophy and beliefs, Mike. You gotta start no. understanding these things. No, that's too hard. I don't know if it's reading up, it's just kind of like I don't know. I know. But uh Yeah, that that's just kind of that. And it was just it was still just amazing to me just how much it all matters, right? How much it's there, right? Surreal. And that it actually is what it is, right? Yeah. And there's not a doubt in mind about that either. Um, you just never thought it was possible. You never thought it could happen to you, right? Or something like that. I don't know. Crazy yeah. stuff. No, sure. Well, yeah. Mike. Yeah. 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 No, you're agreeing too much. You have. Well, you're thinking something. You gotta fire back more often. You always uh, go on these long thought trains. Well, you never uh, interrupt go, me. Well, that's because you move on to like these different topics so fast. I have no time to think of a witty 
somewhat logical response. By the time I think of one, you're already onto a whole different topic. You're gonna stop me then, dude. Well, then you'd have to wait like fifty seconds before. It's a long time, Mike. It's a podcast. They want they want answers. People want the answers, and you've got them, not me. No, I no, I didn't. I haven't strayed from the topic of any of what I was saying for like the past like ten minutes. You've been on the same topic, but you've gone on a different. Yeah. So what's the sub- overall group? opinion of the topic, and then break it down into little different things? Oh my goodness! I don't know. What are we even talking about now? Mike, you gotta start writing stuff down. You gotta start taking notes. I wanna make you take notes when we're doing these things. It's too bad. It, it's too loud. I mean. Look, listen to this. What's too loud? Alright, here we go. I'm taking notes. Listen up. It's too late to take notes now. We're done. Ryan is a. Do 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 do. Ryan? <laughs> we. Oh, wait. Read up on philosophy. Make sure you get your things with dreams there. I. With a Y, so I mean dye my jeans blue, not death. Look into nightmare. Yeah, that you, got, that you need to do. Don't die to Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Dude, I watched that movie last night. Dude, is it is um AMC's doing their like thirty one days of Halloween crap, aren't they? Something like that, yeah. Is that where you watch it at? Yeah. That's what I, that's what I thought. I haven't watched I haven't watched any Halloween movies lately. It's a fun time. It is, dude. Calling out when people are gonna die in those movies, the old ones. So much fun. So I think we had a good run, didn't we? Yeah, dude. It was fun. It's been fun, dude. We're gonna this is gonna be it's it's gonna be good, man. Gotta pitch these ideas to some other people, and once I get the setup going, we'll do it, bro. We'll do it. So we'll work on the syncing stuff. So hey, thanks everybody for tuning in. This was what sixteen, seventeen, twenty one, twenty seven, seventeen. The big one seven. Yeah, the one seven, not the one zero, oh, the one seven. That's what this is. So uh, thanks everyone for listening, Mike. Anything? Um... No. Don't do drugs. <laughs> So uh, that, I'll see everybody later. Thank you. And um, Mike, you got to say something. All right. Uh, You're ending it. Um. Uh. Geez, guys. Um. Have a great time.